parts of the US and Canada are braced for potentially record-breaking low temperatures as a blast of Arctic air blows across North America. A winter storm has already blanketed areas of Canada and the northeastern US with up to 2 feet. 60 centimeters of snow. More than 3,000 flights were cancelled on Monday, on top of thousands grounded over the weekend. Schools have been closed in several U.S. states and residents urged to stay indoors for their own safety. The storm and the deep cold have been blamed for 16 deaths in recent days. In developments across the region, a power failure in Newfoundland, in Canada, Late on Sunday left 90,000 homes without electricity. It was a blow to residents already trying to deal with rolling blackouts and the aftermath of a blizzard. CTV News reports the National Weather Service in Kansas City predicted a low of 22 C, 8 F, for Monday morning, shy of the record low for this state of 25 C, 13 F set in 1912. But life-threatening wind chills will make it feel much colder. The Kansas City Star reports South Dakota's Colorland.com carries a report about farmers trying to keep their cattle warm, as the cold weather can have a devastating impact on herds in Indiana. A state of emergency has been declared in several northwest counties, allowing only emergency or law enforcement vehicles on the roads in Thunder Bay, Ontario, where the temperature on Monday morning was 33 C, 27 F. Skate rental business owner Roy Laham told the Chronicle Journal newspaper he had only 20 customers on Sunday, down from the usual 200-300. Temperatures in the north and central U.S. could feel as low as 51 C, 60 F, with the effect of wind chill, forecasters say. The coldest weather in years will be making its presence known from the upper Midwest to the mid-Atlantic region for the beginning of the work week. The U.S. National Weather Service said in a statement, The states of Ohio, South Dakota and Illinois are among those set to be hit. Tennessee and Kentucky are forecast to see several inches of snow. It is set to continue to the northeast, where residents are still digging out from the week's deadly snowstorm. In eastern Canada, the temperatures are expected to drop quickly throughout Monday. Freezing rain caused long airport delays in Toronto and Ottawa. Environment Canada's David Phillips told the BBC the rapid temperature drop expected, about 24 degrees Celsius in 24 hours in cities such as Toronto, means residents could be driving or walking on roads that are like a rink of ice. Cold temperatures could bring lows not seen in 20 years. Some parts of Canada could see as much as 60 centimetres, 23 inches, of snow over just a few days. Mr. Phillips said, We have experienced winters like this from time to time, but this one is quite brutal with much snowfall to match the cold. Bill Brandt, who lives in the southeast of the Canadian province of Manitoba, told the BBC in an email. Heavy snow has also affected U.S. states including New York, Connecticut and Massachusetts. Boston was said to be the worst hit with nearly 18 inches, 45 centimeters, of snow.